As Term 2 concludes, we have just finished examinations and Form 4 to 7 parent interviews. Our Form 4 and 5 students have also just completed cyber education seminars. And in the new term, there will be an opportunity for you as parents to join us for cyber education seminars and then options evening. Each of these support and endorse the Grammar Way. They set the scene for us to build on our culture where success breeds success. Our young men and us have many distractions in modern society and to me education is the key to keep them focused and on track. In recent times we've seen many examples of the Grammar Way in action. These include the Grammar versus Kings match where a last gasp effort saw us win. We saw a parochial crowd on the sideline respecting their school and the opposition. Hockey's win over King saw them crowned Auckland champs, and football's win secured the Morris Kelly Cup. There are lots and lots of other examples, including the Form 3 cross-country team winning gold in the three- and six-man team at Nationals, and Connell Wilson followed his, the footsteps of his brothers to secure the senior national cross-country title. And Sean Tang has been named in the National Youth Orchestra. We had a presentation from old boy Professor Dennis Feeney, who told the boys to follow their passion after getting a good foundation education, while All Blacks manager Darren Shand reminded us of the impact of culture and well-articulated values on success at the father's son's breakfast. The new classroom block is better than we could have hoped for. The classrooms provide good acoustics and interactive data projectors. The link to the main block is convenient and the canteen provides quick and easy access for students to food which is proving popular, as to be expected. Looking ahead, Term 3 is a vital teaching term. We'll also continue our focus on supporting great teachers. Our thanks to those who helped raise the 240000 at the recent gala dinner. We've also just launched our annual appeal, and in August, we'll publish our first ever cookbook. All funds raised in each of these directly support the Academic Endowment Fund. It comes back to our teachers, the relationships they build, and the content they teach. In the coming months, I'm going to share a series about the key ingredients of a grammar education with you, including some of my views and opinions. For now, I'd like to share with you a short and informative video on the Academic Endowment Fund. Per Angusta, at Augusta. The Academic Endowment Fund's been um, going for well, more than a decade now. Those who brought this together and thought of the concept are, are to be commended because the idea is uh, to reward, uh, retain and also attract um, masters into the grammar environment. In the classroom you can see the calibre of the teachers and their enthusiasm, um, the way they you know, connect with the class, the way they engage the students um, and just involve everyone, not just a certain few people who are strong at the subjects but even those that are weak at it, they, they try to push them to you know, their limits. I, I think the AEF is uh, something which again helps make grammar unique and it certainly helps make grammar a better place to work. The Academic Endowment Fund I think has, um, has created this feeling of being valued, being appreciated for what you do, being recognised for the work that you put in. The spirit spreads into the whole department, the whole school, and there is more positivity around everything that has been done at the school. So I do think it's really important that we have schemes like the Academic Endowment Fund. Um, I think it's, uh, it's a great uh, way that we can sort of give back to our teachers and reward them for uh, the pretty incredible work that they do. Last year we awarded some 23 uh, different awards. Uh, some of them are quite generic for excellence in teaching. Uh, others are subject specific such as Latin masters, classic masters, uh, English, uh, maths, etc. It's something which, which helps provide that extra incentive to keep going and keep driving forward when, when it's a tough term and it's the middle of the year and there's a lot of work and it's a lot of balls in the air. Um, it's just another factor in the back of my mind to keep going and, and to make that extra effort all the time. It is a unique reward. I don't think I can pick any school around the country that actually has something as um, rewarding as the AEF. This is uh, something that teachers don't expect and they don't demand um, and they uh, see it as something that is uh, a real reward um, as an academic year concludes. I am in deep gratitude to the AEF and the people involved with the AEF because the AEF I think means really a lot to a lot of teachers here because 
they are given that extra special chance to receive something which they would not have expected to have received. All the educational research today says that the most important part uh, about educating our, our young are the teachers. It's who is in front of the young men and the relationship that they develop and the skill set that they have um, is key. You know, in order to to retain the, the teachers that we have here at Grammar, there has to be um, they have to be acknowledged uh, for, for what they're doing and I think it's hugely important that we do that um, so that we can keep a hold of these teachers and so that uh, you know boys in 20 to 30 years time get the same experience that I've got that that my dad got that boys you know 50 100 years ago got as well and so Auckland Grammar continues to excel at a high level.